Newton Gardening, everybody. Well, I'm currently sitting on the bed where we just planted some seeds, some peas, spinach, and radishes from our last video at the beginning of April. And in that video, I hinted that something exciting had just happened. And that bit of excitement is located inside this box. This box is filled with 10 pounds of seed potatoes from Wood Prairie Family Farm. And it's not just that there are 10 pounds of seed potatoes in here, but there are actually 10 different varieties, 10 of the varieties that we're gonna be growing this year in our garden here at Guten Gardening. Now there are additional varieties that we will be growing as well varieties that are potatoes that we grew last season we saved some of those potatoes and we kept them to become seed potatoes this season but i'm excited to show you the 10 different varieties that are in this box this is a nice little box opening and remind you that we are an affiliate of wood prairie family farms and so you can use our code and i'll put it in the the description here of this video you can use our code and our link to get five percent off of your order so if you haven't already gotten your seed potatoes this is one place that you can get them one good option now i'm going to take out my knife and i'm going to open the box this is the first i'm looking into this box at all i'm actually going to do most of this opening indoors because as beautiful of a day as it is out here it is very windy and i want to make sure there's no wind going on when i introduce the contents of this box let's get inside and check it out. All right, we are now inside where I'm gonna do the rest of this opening up. And initially I thought about pulling these all out and setting them up in some kind of order, but I think it feels like my birthday or Christmas or something because I just wanna be surprised along with you. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each variety as I pull them out. I'm gonna start in this corner and I'm gonna talk about maturity, taste, texture, all those types of things for each one. You know, as we're making our decisions as to which potatoes we wanna plant, all of those things come into play and our first variety of seed potatoes is the dark red norland now the norland red potato is actually a pretty common potato i think you know what i want to do before i open this up so you can see how these come labeled from wood prairie family farms a little bit about the potato delicious red skin potato with firm white flesh good for boiling frying and baking so you have a, a little description there the same thing you can find on the website it is usda organic and on the back there's a description as well as to the fact that these are main certified seed potatoes which are supposed to be really high quality seed potatoes. It tells us who inspected these seed potatoes and all of this is done through the Department of Agriculture in Maine. But let's go ahead and take a look at these seed potatoes. Now the Norland Reds are an early season potato, which means they grow a little bit faster. They mature a little bit faster, about 90 days. And be really careful here. You can see they've already chitted, they've already sprouted about a quarter maybe maybe three-eighths of an inch but look at the quality these are firm i mean the quality here is pretty obvious and you see how many eyes are on this particular variety and this is a potato that i could definitely it looks like it's been in some sand that'd be my guess but this is definitely a variety at, at size wise where i could at least cut this in half maybe even a little bit more but probably in half this is on the moderate side for the glycemic index, this particular variety. And it is a waxy potato, a firm waxy potato. Now we have grown Northern Reds before. It was actually one of our first crops, really big video that we did early on. So check that out if you haven't already. I'll put a link in the description. And this, oh, I am super excited for. We actually have some of these as well that we kept for seed potatoes, but these are the Sharpo Miras. Sharpo, it looks like Sarpo, but it's Sharpo Miras. The Sharpo Mira, when I did the video on that, one of the things I talked about is its lack of senescence, meaning that it just keeps growing and growing and all the other potatoes are dying back. And this one just keeps producing. Now it says it's a golden potato with a beautiful pink skin. That's what we found to be true as well. It's great baked, mashed, and fried. Take a look at this. Now, because this keeps growing and growing and growing, this is definitely considered to be a late season potato, taking about 100 days. Certainly more than 100 days is not a problem. 120, 130 days, these will keep growing. The plant itself doesn't die back very easily. This is another one of those firm 
and waxy potatoes. It's got a, a slightly, let me say maybe a slightly nutty taste to it. But again, this is a great potato if you have an area where your growing conditions tend to be a little bit on the drier side, where you have maybe the potential for more drought. These grow well in those conditions. I highly, highly recommend the Sharp Omiras. Let's check out our next one. I'm, I'm standing off to this side so I don't see <laughs> everything here right away. Ooh, these are rose gold potatoes. This is a variety we have not grown before. Rosy red skin with a deep yellow flesh, creamy mid-dry potato is perfect baked or steamed. Now this is a mid-season potato. It's supposed to be a little bit on the sweet side, actually. So there's a hint of sweetness with this. Again, we haven't grown this variety, so I can't say for sure how this is going to taste. I can tell you that it's about a 90-day potato and that it is another one that's moist and waxy, a waxy potato. Let's take a look at these seed potatoes. You can see just the, the very beginnings of the chitting process happening here. So with all of these, we're going to set them in a place that's nice and dark and we're going to let this process continue because we still got some time before they're going to grow in or go in the ground. But you see these are bigger. A pound of these is made up of only four seed potatoes. So we'll definitely be cutting these into smaller pieces as a part of that process to get more out of these rose gold seed potatoes. All right, here we go. Our next one is a caribou russet. Now we've grown a couple of different types of russet potatoes in the past, but we've not grown the caribou russet. It says it's a new high quality potato, best for baking, mashing, and frying. It's a mid-season, high yielding and reliable. You know, when it comes to growing potatoes here, we definitely want potatoes that are not just reliable, but high yielding. That's a key for us. And russets, Sometimes, you know, th these are just, these are baking potatoes, but these make really good mashed potatoes. And again, you can see the number of eyes on these. That's gonna be important when it comes to cutting these apart. We wanna make sure we have a couple of eyes on each piece, and it looks like that's not going to be a problem here. Now we could just plant four of these potatoes, but I'd like to get more out of these plants. A russet potato, tell me what your experience is. You prefer a waxier potato? Or do you like russet potatoes? What is your preference? All right, next up, we have Elba potatoes. Okay, this is another variety that we have not yet grown. This is a mid-season variety. It is a handsome, versatile, round white potato with excellent flavor baked as well as boiled. <clears throat> Again, this is a mid-season potato. We're looking at probably about 90 to 100 days for this particular variety. And again, this is another one of those waxy, the firm and waxy potatoes. So we're growing quite a few that are that nice, firm, waxy potato. I like a good waxy potato. Here we go. Take a look at these. Again, one of the things that I'm stressing over and over again as I take a look at these seed potatoes is just how nice the quality of these seed potatoes are. A couple years ago, we bought some seed potatoes locally that looked like they had seen better days and we still got pretty good results but i know for a fact we haven't had any potato we've purchased from wood prairie not yield well for us so far all right we are halfway done this opening i hope you're enjoying seeing these different varieties i hope you're getting as excited as we are up next we've got some russian banana fingerlings now the fingerlings the only fingerlings we've grown here so far have been some French fingerlings and we've grown those year after year from an initial 99 cent bag that we got from the store and we're going to be growing those again this season but let's take a look at these French fingerlings. Now French fingerlings are a mid to late season variety. It is on the low end for the glycemic index so if you're looking for a, a lower end on that glycemic index potato take a look at these beauties. Now, something this size, we'll typically just plant as is. You can see how many fingerlings you get for a pound. Again, that's what we started off with a couple years ago, just a pound of these. These are gonna be delightful. This is a firm and waxy potato as well. And it typically, they say, has moderate yields, but we've done really nicely with our fingerling potatoes. And next up, the other fingerling potato. This is the rose fin apple fingerling potato. All right, so another variety, actually pretty similar in terms of time period, mid to late season. Also, 
on the lower end for the glycemic index, which is pretty nice. Again, for those of you who have to deal with that. And it would say, I would say here that we're looking at probably a similar yielding type of potato. I don't know what it is about these fingerling potatoes, but the texture, the waxiness of these, I just absolutely love. One thing I'm noticing here, the shape of these is a little bit different. I kind of like this, a little bit different than the other variety, those Russians that we had here. But I can also see that this is not as far along. You can see just the bare beginnings of the process here. You see it right there? So again, we're going to lay these out. We're going to let them continue the process. We're not planting for a bit of time still. And so these are going to be ready to go here when we're ready to put them in the garden. Three left. Let's see what we've got. We've got, oh my, the Baltic Rose. Look, my favorite potato last season in terms of production I've never seen anything quite like it. Consistent production, that was the Baltic Rose. I loved making that video, I loved harvesting. We grew those in our, our keyhole bed last season. And in our keyhole bed, we got potato after potato that was of a great size. I'm talking probably baseball size for most of those. These potatoes just really perform so well. So the Baltic Rose, I didn't even read the description, I should have. An attractive red potato from Germany with deep golden flesh, delicious taste, smooth texture, and an ex is excellent fried or roasted. I'm telling you something, these are performers. You know, I talked about those Sharp Omiras and loving those. These were amazing. We got four in here. And the process, again, you can see just the beginnings of the chitting process. We're going to be splitting those up for sure. I want a whole bunch of these. I actually saved some of those from our last gardening season as well. Those are gonna take us a good 100 days before we harvest. Next to last, oh my, the Adirondack Blue. Look, we grow Magic Molly here, which is a purple potato. I think the Adirondack Blue almost looks purple as well, but we have grown Adirondack Blues before. We grew them and we did a video on it. Our One of our community members gave us some, it was the first time we had grown the Adirondack Blues, gave us some a couple years ago they are delicious that's another waxy potato it is in the mid to late season variety or it's a mid to late season variety i'm trying to be gentle with this because i don't want the the label to come off one of the things that's cool about this is i'm not going to wash this for you so you can't really see the color popping here and i'm definitely not cutting it open yet not until i'm ready to cut them apart here um, these look incredible they taste even better than they look. Now it says that these are moderately yielding and I would agree with that, but in about a hundred days, you are going to see some beautiful blue potatoes. And there's something very striking about having blue mashed potatoes and other blue vegetables. Oh, wait, let me turn that over. You may have just seen that. I don't know. I wasn't actually looking at the camera and I wasn't looking at it. So um, I wanted to show you this though, real quick inside the box. We've got a couple of things. We've got a, a potato growing guide. I always like it when somebody provides a bit of a suggestion in terms of planting. And that's something that Wood Prairie sent our way. There's a nice thank you here as well from the company. A couple of their products, including, oops, I, I think I just dropped a sticker, but including some of the organic sweet potato slips that they are now selling. A nice potato recipe. Uh, I'll look at that later. And then of course, their catalog, which has all their other seeds, etc., in here, and some really good descriptions as to what you can expect from each of the different potato varieties. And we've got 10 of them. And the last one is right here, and it is the Huckleberry Gold. Now, if I'm not mistaken, someone just commented on one of our videos, would you ever consider growing Huckleberry Gold? Well, ta-da, the answer is yes. The Huckleberry Gold, a beautiful deep purple potato with golden flesh, usually, or sorry, excuse me, I can read, unusually creamy texture, perfect baked, roasted, and in creamy soups. Doesn't that look cool? Now, we've never grown the Huckleberry, but in answer to your question, yes, as I said, we are definitely planning to grow some Huckleberry potatoes. I love purple color skin. I love all of that when it comes to these. And I like the idea, well, first of all, I like potato soup. So I like the idea of making a nice creamy potato soup. Take a look at the coloration here. You see the color of the sprouts, that purple right there? Isn't that awesome? Well, this 
is a mid to late season variety. It is kind of moderate on the glycemic index, but it's got that buttery flavor to it. And again, it's creamy and moist. And in about 100 days, I'm looking forward to trying these for the first time. Hey, 10 different varieties of seed potatoes here. So many of them that we haven't grown before. And in a very short time, we're gonna have these in our garden. Now, how's that for some exciting potato content this summer? You know, again, some of these varieties we've grown before, many of them we have not. And we always like experimenting to see which ones are gonna grow the best for us and which ones we wanna bring back, which ones we like the taste of, etc. And so here in the not too distant future, We've got a whole bunch of potatoes to plant in a whole bunch of varieties of ways. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget, if you haven't already gotten a hold of your seed potatoes, now is a great time to do it. Get them shipped to you, go to your local nursery, wherever you wanna get them, but get started and get ready for the upcoming potato growing season. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, you're with us, you are good to grow.